did you get your 1986 Ford Lariat XLT? This is the ultimate bonus for the entire series. Don't ask me how I got up there and don't ask me how I got down in first gear. But as you can see, I've been beating the crap out of this thing recently. If you're looking for a good off-roader, this is definitely one of them, man. But pickup trucks in the game always do well with off-roading. That's just a little... That's just the thing. Pickup trucks are definitely the best off-roaders in the game. In fact, the Hilux, the Toyota Hilux, is to date my favorite off-roader. And that took the, the crown of the Bronco. That Bronco, the new Bronco, was my thing. But I thought when they dropped the Sport Bronco, it would be like it. It would be the bee's knees. It would be the end-all, be-off off-road vehicle. But it wasn't, it was not. So we've got this, the Lariat, which is, I mean, it's good. I've got no complaints about it, it's good. Very good. Insane amount of power, uh, 1750, force first, as the guys at Donut Media would say. And that's a lot of horse purse. Um, perhaps I'll develop some test vehicles at some point, you know, like rock climbs and stuff like that. But I'm sure with all this horse burst, this thing will do excellent in rock climbing. Like, let's just try it. Let's just try some really slow rock climb right now. Let's just go up, let's try to go up a bigger grade. Okay, can't quite go vertical. Right? Vertical is, is too much, but right about here. Like literally no problem. Okay, but the real reason that y'all came to this video is for this right here. 1962 Continental. So let's redeem that prize. Because we've done a lot this week. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. All the seasons. And if you are interested in seeing how I do those, leave a comment and I'll get to it. But yeah, let's go to my cars, let's change. Is this our only Lincoln? Is this the only Lincoln we got? The only Lincoln we got in the game. <laughs> what if they what if they drop the like the, the 90 Lincoln Continental uh, 88? That'd be kind of cool. I mean, we seem to have that wobbly off-road suspension already. Oh yeah, I knew that was coming. The driver tires in this game aren't very smart. Let's try to get to some roads. I think we might have to go off-road to get to some decent, oh no, to get to some decent roads. Is it just me or does it seem like if you're heading towards a tree and you're going a reasonable speed, there ain't nothing you can do about hitting that tree. That can't be just me, right? It's like you're attracted to it like glue. Alright, let's let's get this thing out on the open road and see what we got going on here. I have no idea where I'm going. Or where I'm at right now. But I see a reasonable straightaway ahead. This is probably a four on the floor. Or maybe even three speeds. Which is entirely possible. Let's stay. Going down the highway, right? Watch it be one of those super sleepers. 
Oh yeah, by the way, I often play solo offline because the lobbies seem way more populated. And driving on the highways, on the roads is a lot more of a challenge. Is every car shifting lane at the same time? He got the turn signal on, but he wasn't shifting. Just like real life. Oh, there's another... Why can't we have turn signals? I'd love to be able to turn on my turn signals. Bashed up the front of my car. But that's inconsequential. Let's see if we can bend this corner. At 89 miles an hour, we could not hit that turn. Maybe if I drop my gear a little bit, but I don't think that would have helped much. But here we go. We're going to get to this festival real quick. Is that four? Nope, three speeds. Oh my goodness, the springs, the springs, the brakes. Everything about this car stock is terrible. Watch it become some super elite supercar. Let's see what the car collection says I got. I mean, the only Lincoln in the game should garner a surprise, a reward of some kind. Okay, so let's go to upgrades and tuning. Let's tune this bad boy up real quick. Oh, goodness. I know we got one of those. Yeah, definitely got one of those standalone engines. 7.4 liter V8 twin turbo. Yes, please. All wheel drive. Yes, please. Do we throw? Yeah, we do. We definitely do throw some air in the front. Do we throw any in the back? Yeah, we're going to throw some in the back, too. Hey, this thing is big. Gonna throw some slicks. Gonna widen them things. Widen them. And you can't get you can't get a low rider and have like big ribs on it. There's no way. And we're gonna engine space these things, cause yeah, why not? With the best hand it's car we can get, right? Alright, we're gonna uh wanna throw something kind of uh Sixty pounds lighter than the factory rig, so definitely take that. Okay, we just got turbos as an upgrade here. Let's put the brakes. Let's put our race springs. Let's reduce. Ooh, it's an S2. That's good. Okay, could use all the flexibility prevention it could get, I suppose, with this long car. I'm sure it's not one long, solid piece of metal. Uh, very stiff. I don't think we can make this car anything but black. At the very most, we just have to throw some tints on it, right? Custom tuning. Like I said, if you watch the last video, just make the make the curve as even as you can. Space them as evenly apart as you can. And with the uh, the final one, try to tuck it in a little bit. You no, know? and then go to your final drive, and you push it all the way up to this line. Right, get to that line push a little bit more and your top speed jumps dramatically like say within five tenths of a point three to five tenths of a point or more keep going until it drops to two tenths of a point or less once it's not moving more than that you're pretty much at the limit of your car's performance as far as drive is concerned yep that's where it is right there that's the sweet spot see how it went from 215 point it went from 215.0 to 215.6 and then it went from 215.6 to 215.7 
you want to take the number right below that that shift so we're going to turn this up I think we need a little bit wider in the back than we usually do so I'll do 3.2 in the back turn that down anti-roll bars we want all the anti-roll bars on this thing I'm sure because I'm just trying to consider the length of it at this point because physics are real physics is real Yeah, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this good. We're gonna get this good, and we're gonna go out there and we're gonna test it again and see what we can do. Why not? Ride height? Yeah, we're definitely gonna slam it. Why wouldn't we slam it? Alright, we get this. I don't know. I don't exactly know how I want my sprays, my damping. We're gonna, we're gonna make it around the default amount from myself. And we're not gonna mess with the arrow yet. Um, and like I said, between 115 and 120 is the sweet spot for me. Because this car is heavy, I'll give it 122. And I know the braking force is a lot heavier at the front, so I'll add a little bit to the front. But I think it's about 55 in the front. It's long and it's engine forward, and yeah, that'll probably throw off the balance significantly. And I think 60 might be perfect for the rear. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see here. We go to my cars. Yeah, 53 in the front. So 55, 56 in the rear is fine. Uh, design and paint. Let's paint this bad boy. I think we're just going to just black out the rims, right? Yeah, black out the rims. Black out the tents. I don't think we could paint the rear view mirrors. Nope. And that's it. We got this machine that looks like it's straight out of a gangster movie from the 60s. Al Capone type thing. I hear it all. I think Al Capone was earlier than that. Well, it's definitely an ominous vehicle. And we're going to jump out here in the world, take it to the highway, and see what we can do. Oh, it's raining too. I mean, there's not much that we did aesthetically to it. And I also realize I don't ever come inside and show y'all what the inside of the car looks like. So here you go. This is a view that's very familiar to me. And I know I might be dating myself at this point. Oh my God, I love the way it sounds. Full disclosure, I used to own a Lincoln Continental with a Flowmaster exhaust on it. It was pretty fast, actually. You do anything to a V8 that's adding any type of horsepower to a V8, and it's a beast. And I'm not even gonna lie, it kind of feels like this. I know my car wasn't doing no 205, no two nothing. But I definitely got that thing up to 130 miles per hour already. Even though on the dash it said 85 or something like that, I know it was going a little fast. If I was riding with someone who was going about buck 20, buck 30, and I blew past them. And this is this is this is more than 10 years ago, more than 15 years ago. So I'm with the statue. So don't come for me. I don't drive like that anymore. But yeah, this is... Like, while I'm driving and I'm talking, I'm failing to realize how stable and planted this car is, right? Now, every car that I, I've seen, that every car that they give you with the updates, like the bonus cars or whatever, they always have some feature about them that makes them exceptional, especially the ex exclusive cars, and I think this one is exclusive. So what this one is giving me is handling vibes. I'm getting extreme handling vibes from this car right here. 
I know I got skill points awarded. I got probably seven or eight hundred of them banked up right now. So that is not an alert that is alerting me of any new that I didn't. Yeah, this car is great, actually, man. One to ten? I'll give this car a solid eight right now. It doesn't quite have the top speed that I like. And a lot of my cars, you know, 250 or better for me. It makes me feel like I'm going fast in these cars. But the handling, man. I mean, the size does take a little bit of points away from it. But the handling of this car is what? It's, it's redeeming quality. The car handles. It's one of the best handling cars in the game. And I don't say that lightly. This, right now, this is literally one of the best handling cars in the game. And not even just best handling car for what it is. No, just the handling of this car is precise. Look at that. The brakes work incredibly well. got some pull to it. Wow. I'm sorry guys, I'm very impressed with this car. Man. This very impressed with this. Wow. drift that easily. Wow, this is on this is on slicks, y'all. Oh, there we go. See? Like glue right to the tree. But definitely could not have been able to avoid that, so that's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking like if you're driving and you're you're heading for the tree, but a simple turn of the steering wheel will help you, but for some reason, the steering wheel doesn't want to work. Something like that actually happened to me in real life. I mean, I might be giving away why I'm so partial to these car games. I have a lot of experience in cars in my life, a lot of stories, a lot of things that have happened to me. Like a head-on collision. Yeah, that happened to me in 2017. I wasn't in the Lincoln Continental, bro. I was in a Honda. Honda Odyssey. <laughs> that thing practically exploded. But the Toyota I hit? The only thing that was wrong with that car was <laughs> the headlight was busted. That was it. That was it. My car was total. Completely total undrivable, smoking. I had to jump out of the car because I thought it was going to explode and catch on fire. It was accordion. The Honda? Accord? A broken headlight and a scratch bumper. I mean, yeah. The Toyota. It was a, sorry, it was a Toyota. It was a Toyota Camry. Cracked headlight, broken headlight, and a scratched bumper. Not even a cracked bumper. Scratch bumper. That's my life story. Get my back dirty. But I'm good now, I think. I heal like Wolverine. The only difference is Wolverine doesn't require surgery. I'd be requiring the surgery for mine. But I heal from the surgery really good, so like, my back is good. I'm not paralyzed. Have any loss of function in my body? Still an MF athlete, trying to get a scholarship. But here we are. It's the Lincoln. 
here. Before we before we get out of here, let's let's fix her up and have one more look at her. Looking good. And there you go, folks. What year? The ninth the 1962 Lincoln Continental. One of the best handling cars in the game. Effortless. Effortless. This car literally does what you... Oh, he just stuck his arm out as I was bashing it right there. Sticking the arm out. That's neat. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. See you tomorrow.